What's going on, fellas? How we doing, Rob? Good, good, good. Welcome to Fight Week. It's a little hey. earlier than we thought we were going to see you, but okay. we're happy to see you. How has uh, things been? I've been great, man. Uh, I've been enjoying Nashville. Uh, we got to hang it out on the farm when we first got here and enjoy the the, the weird the wilderness and the outside and uh, just the land. Oh, that's pretty cool. I know everyone's thinking it's kind of unfortunate we don't get to see you in Boston, but happy to have a main event, right? Yeah, hundred percent. You know, obviously we we love fighting in Boston, and and you know it's, it's convenient, it's easy. But uh, I've never been in Nashville. Um, we got another main event. It's a big opportunity. There's a lot of upside to this fight, so uh, I'm not complaining. What was the first thoughts going through your mind when UFC reached out? You know, to kind of put you up against Corey here. I get to eat two weeks earlier. You know, I get to hang out and, and relax, and it, you know, it, it gets you know I get there quicker. Yeah, when you kind of look at what Corey's done in bantamweight division, it feels like it's inevitable we're going to see you two fight at some point. Kind of, what do you think of what he's done in the UFC so far? Oh man, he's been killing it. You know, um, obviously he's, he's fought all the best guys out there. Um, you know, so there's there's going to be ups and downs when you're fighting the best guys. So uh, we're kind of similar in that in that aspect. Um, he, he's technical. He's smooth. He's entertaining. And um, and um, I, the UFC knows what they're doing. They put me and Corey in there. It's going to be fight of the night for sure. Yeah. You know, you mentioned ups and downs. The, the fight against Adrian was a crazy fight for as long as it lasted. Kind of just coming off of that victory, what was life like for you coming from that win and kind of how you've been able to build on that momentum coming to this week? Yeah, man, it, it was it was it was a must. It was a must needed win. It was a it was a great week. You know, I love fighting in Florida. It was, it was awesome. And, um, you know, I plan on recreating that same um, kind of intensity and same kind of action. Um. Fight with Corey Sandhagen, obviously, like, super technical guy. Like, a guy that thinks about every strike that he's about to throw in there. You know, picks his angles right. Uh, what kind of guys have you brought in to emulate his style for this camp? He's sitting right behind you, you know what I'm saying? we got Calvin Cater in the building. Uh, we got my boy Tommy Pags in the back. You know, um, yeah, you know, we got I got a solid group that's always with me. You know, um, so... Uh, and then obviously all, all the boxers we work with um, out in Boston. So um, I'm getting a lot of guys, a lot of different looks, and um, yeah, we're prepared. What do you think of the division as a whole right now? Because it seems like a lot of the divisions booked up, right? I mean, we could see Marab and Cejudo. Obviously, we've got Aljamain and Sugar after this one. I know a lot of guys don't like to look past the fight in front of them, but with all of these guys being booked up, you get a win over Corey Sandhagen. Could that possibly jump you right in line for the winner of all Joe and Sugar? A hundred percent, man. You know, that's the plan. Go out there, put on a show, get a finish, and um, head back to Boston and get that title shot. Is there any chance that this one goes the full five rounds? I hope not, man. I hope not. You know, I, I want to get in, get out. You know, Miami's that was fun. Get in, get in out uh, as soon as possible. But, uh, yeah, I'm prepared for five. Uh, I want to finish as quick as possible, but I'm also prepared for five. And how nice is it to have that extra five pounds this week? <laughs> it was awesome, man. Like, it was pretty cool. You know, they uh, obviously they called. Uh, they took two, not. I don't say they took, but uh, you know, we lost two weeks. Uh, you know, we reached out. We asked for a couple of things. They said no to, to some and said yes uh, to a couple. And uh, you know, I appreciate you, Dana. <laughs> Did Songs Camp reach out to you at all when the fight was canceled? Like, hey, maybe we'll see you somewhere down the road or anything like that? Or was nah, those girls, are, those guys are rude, man. They didn't say nothing, man. <laughs> nah, nah, they uh, they didn't reach out, but uh, it is what it is, you know. Um, hopefully, you know, he's he's recovered and whatever he's dealing with, he, he gets back to it quick. Cool. Stylistically, uh, stylistically for yourself, which matchup did you prefer more, the Song Yudong fight or the Corey Sandhagen fight you've got now? Man, they're so they're all so tough. You know, you gotta kind of give the power advantage to Song. You would have to give the the reach and and the footwork to uh, Corey. You know, it's it's just it's tough, man, because they're all they're all they're all hard. Um, but you know, we got Corey. We're focusing on him, and and um, and, and I'm, I'm prepared for uh, Saturday night. And uh, you know, Sandhagen had mentioned that with him taking that fight with Umar, the originally scheduled fight, that with a win, you know, of course, that he was next in line for that number one spot. Can you, you know, speak to what that might mean for you, you know, with you getting the win on Saturday? You know, we haven't officially spoke about that, like, uh, or Sean or Dana, but, uh, you know, hopefully, you know, I'm on that same page. And then Sterling O'Malley, who do you got and who do you prefer to win? I see it, uh, I think if, if, if O'Malley doesn't, I'm sorry, if uh, Al Jermaine doesn't get hurt in the first first two rounds, um, I, I see him winning the decision. 
Yeah, just one more back here. Uh, Let's go. What are you most f- looking forward to uh, eating after the fight? <laughs> oh, man, I'm looking for that Nashville hot chicken. You know, uh, I got to try it. Um, I heard the barbecue's pretty good out here. I don't know. What do you guys recommend? Addy Say it again. Addy Boom. We're going there. Say less. <laughs> That's it for me. <laughs> Thank you, guys.